welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Hanny. And thanks for coming back to join us for part two of a window on the world look at fighting for women's rights on the soccer field. In yesterday's article, we learned a little bit about the FIFA Women's World Cup, which is held every four years, just like the FIFA World Cup for male players. At last year's Women's World Cup in France, the U.S. Women's National Team (USWNT) won for the fourth time. They didn't lose a game, and they inspired fans and players all around the world with their professional attitude and top-level performance. They truly were an amazing team. Absolutely, and today we will learn that the women of the U.S. Women's National Team. Aren't just amazing on the soccer field; they can also be inspiring leaders off of the soccer field, away from the game. That's what we'll be learning about as we'll see how these U.S. soccer stars use their position to push for much-needed change in the world of women's soccer. It promises to be very interesting, and we'll get to it right after. Hanny tells us all about the new vocabulary that we will be reading in the article today. 美国国家女子足球队在世界杯四度夺冠。那在各界美光灯关注之下，球员们并没有浪费这样的机会，反而借此来持续争取同等薪资。那很多球员都公开指出，女性足球员不但薪资低于男性，各方面的资源待遇也比较差。那这个举动呢，就激励很多体坛的女子队伍也开始坚持同等薪资，这对女权来说是一大进展。我们来看今天会用到的四个单字 ：waste、waste 表示浪费，它在课文里面是当动词，像是 Melissa wasted a lot of money on hats and shoes。Melissa wasted a lot of money on hats and shoes. Melissa 浪费很多钱买帽子和鞋子。下一个单词 equal, equal 是形容词，用来形容相等的、平等的。有一句话大家应该听过 ：All men are created equal. All men are created equal. 人皆生而平等。第三个单词 insist, insist 表示坚持，它是一个动词，像是 Jack didn't want to wear the jacket, but his mother insisted. Jack didn't want to wear the jacket, but his mother insisted. Jack 不想穿那件夹克，但他妈妈坚持要他穿，因为有一种冷叫做妈妈觉得你冷。好，最后一个单词 step, step 在课文里面是当名词，表示一步。接近目标的一步或是一个阶段，像课文就是用 a big step for women's rights， 女权的一大步，那就表示女权的一大进展了。来造个例句 ：Exercise won't make up for bad eating habits, but it's a step in the right direction. Exercise won't make up for bad eating habits, but it's a step in the right direction. 运动没办法弥补不良饮食习惯，但却是往正确方向的一步，也就是迈向成功的一步。好，现在看完单词例句，我们来读课文吧。The USWNT didn't waste their time in the spotlight; they used it to continue their fight for equal pay. Many of the members spoke out about the problem. So our article titled "Fighting for Women's Rights on the Soccer Field" picks up the story of the women of the World Cup winning U.S. Women's National Soccer Team right after they had won the tournament last year in France. The first sentence tells us the U.S. WNT didn't waste their time in the spotlight. Ah, so here we learn that the female players of the U.S. Women's National Team (USWNT) used the chances they had to speak to newspaper writers and to appear on TV to bring attention to the things that they felt were really important. Sure, they were all proud to win the World Cup for their country, but they wanted to use their fame and their moment in the spotlight to help all. All of the female soccer players around the world, no matter what country they come from.
，美国国家女子足球队以他们这种精湛球技、专业态度还有顶尖表现，鼓舞了世界各地球迷。不过，他们没有因此冲昏了头，而是利用在美光灯下的时间来引起大众对重要议题的关注。那课文用到补充单字 spotlight， 表示聚光灯、美光灯。那我们在开场的时候说到这个 professional attitude， 就是专业态度 ；top level performance， 表示顶尖的表现。Okay, so there was one particular issue they were very focused on. The next sentence tells us they used it to continue their fight for equal pay. That's right. They just wanted to be paid the same amount of money as the male players. That's all. Right. And why shouldn't they? They play the same game, soccer. It's the same rules. It's the same amount of time. And at least for the U.S. women's team, they can truly say that they are better than the men's team from their country. The U.S. women's national team has won the whole FIFA Women's World Cup four times. And the U.S. men's team has won the World Cup exactly zero times. The U.S. men's team haven't even gotten to the final game before. So why are the men being paid more? It really doesn't make sense. And in any other kind of work, any other kind of job, this type of unequal treatment would probably be illegal in many places.、Mm. So the women, they don't want more; they just want the same. And as we reach the break, we read many of the members spoke out about the problem. And the problem of unequal treatment for female soccer players. Doesn't just end with pay. In another example of how the men are treated better, one country was flying its male players to international tournaments in first class on the airplane, but when the women traveled, they had to use the cheaper seats at the back. This kind of stuff just makes people angry because it is so clearly unfair. And come on, people! It's 2020, not 1950. Well, before the break, let's go over to Daphne because she has lots to tell us about our first grammar point of the day. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 somebody speaks out about something， 意思是某人公开发表对某事物的看法。Speak 在这里是不及物动词，意思是说话。三态是 speak, spoke, spoken. 后方用副词 out 大声修饰，合在一起 speak out 就是大胆说出看法。后方用介系词 about 关于，说明是哪方面的看法。例如 ，Greta spoke out about climate change. Greta 公开发表对气候变迁的看法。谢谢 Daphne 老师的讲解。明明一样都是职业足球员，用一样的比赛规则，然后女运动员付出的努力又不比男生少，为什么会有这么不平等的待遇呢？而且这如果换作是上班族啊，男女同工不同酬，在很多地方都是违法的。那我们这边来补充几个好用的字哦。Illegal 就是违法的、不合法的 ；unfair 是不公平的 ；unequal 是不平等的。好，那我们就可以用 unequal treatment 来表达不平等的对待。好，那我们先休息一下，待会再继续骂。不对，是继续看课文。Okay, it's break time now. We'll be back soon. They pointed out that female soccer players earned less than the males. They also got less when it came to playing, training. And travel conditions, they want better. The USWNT's fight inspired many other female athletes to speak out too. Women's teams across many sports are insisting on equal pay. It's a big step for women's rights everywhere. Explanation two. Okay, so far today in our article, we have clearly seen that the way female soccer players are treated compared to how the men are treated is obviously unequal and unfair. But this is still a problem, and until things change, pointing out the problem and showing that it must be fixed is the best thing 
for people to do. If we all raise our voices together, then the people in power will have to respond sooner. Or later, right? And with the unfair treatment of female soccer players, it's these famous and talented ladies themselves who have the loudest voice. And the good news is that they are using their fame to try to make a change. As we read on, it says they pointed out that female soccer players earned less than the males, even when they are World Cup winners. That's crazy, right? Well, we need to pause here for our second grammar point of the day. We'll be back soon, though. 第二则文法是 somebody points out that 加子句，意思是某人指出。Point 在这里是动词指的意思，后方用副词 out 出现修饰，合在一起 point out 就是指出、提出。后方以名词子句 that 主词加动词作为受词。例如 ，Jewel pointed out that my fly was down. Jewel 指出我的裤子拉链没拉。So we know that female players get paid less than the male players. But as we mentioned before, it's not just equal pay that the women have to put up with. They get treated worse than the men in many other small but meaningful ways too. We next read they, meaning the female soccer players. They also got less when it came to playing, training, and travel conditions. And then it says they want better. Yes, and they should get better. It's important to remember that when the women say they want. Better? They really just mean that they want the same as the men already get. They want equal, which for them right now is also better. So the men get better places to train.、Yep. They might stay in nicer hotels. Yeah, maybe. And as we, as we mentioned earlier, they get better seats on the plane when they travel. I can't understand how anyone would think that this is okay in any way. Yeah, me too. Because it isn't okay in any way. But someone who is okay, in fact, she is great. Is Daphne? She's here to tell us about the third and final grammar point of the day. 第三则文法是 when it comes to 加名词，意思是提到点点点时。When 是连接词当的意思，用以连接两个子句，主词加动词。一个子句是 it comes to 加名词，意思是提到某事。另一个子句就需要自己造句喽。例如 ，When it comes to fishing, Jude is an expert. 提到钓鱼，裘德可是专家。All right. So as we get back to our article, it also seems that the fight by the U.S. women's national team has made other female athletes in completely different sports also raise the issue of equal treatment. We read the U.S. WNT's fight inspired many other female athletes to speak out too. Yes, I seem to remember that female tennis players have also taken this message to the people who run the sport of tennis. I think that the women are starting to be paid the same as the men in tennis. But yeah, it's taken a long time, far too long, to get here. Well, as they say, a long journey begins with a single step, and then many other steps after that. As we reach the end of the article, we read: Women's teams across many sports are insisting on equal pay. If they are doing equal work, then they should get it right. <laughs> Makes sense to me, and our article echoes what Hanny was just saying with this last sentence. It reads: It's a big step. For women's rights everywhere. True, it is a good first step, but more steps are needed and soon. Okay, ladies and gents, thanks for joining us. Be kind and fair to each other, please, and we'll see you back here very, very soon. Until then, bye bye. 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 Fighting for women's rights on the soccer field. The U.S. WNT didn't waste their time in the spotlight. They used it to continue their fight for equal pay. Many of the members spoke out about the problem. They pointed out 
that female soccer players earned less than the males. They also got less when it came to playing, training, and travel conditions. They want better. The USWNT's fight inspired many other female athletes to speak out too. Women's teams across many sports are insisting on equal pay. It's a big step for women's rights everywhere. Not really, right? No, not really. Well, you didn't hear about Jinya. Yeah, so the topic is what Jinya. What Jinya? Because I didn't hear about Jinya. Yeah, but. Because after you do a question, Jinya. Oh, 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 o